and I'm very pleased to welcome Amare Stoudemire here to New York. Thank you. Jim Dolan and the New York Knicks introduced Amare Stoudemire on Thursday after signing him to a five-year contract worth almost $100 million. Stoudemire is the first piece to what many hope will be a championship caliber basketball team being built over the next couple of years. You know, I was raised out here. I lived in New York uh, for four or five of my childhood years. Out of all the teams in the NBA and all the arenas uh, and stadiums you have, Madison Square Garden is by far the best. His ability to be able to, to pick and dive and catch, he's got great hands and finishes, like I said, probably as well as, or better than anybody in the league. And uh, it just opens everything up. And then you put shooters around him, he can shoot also. So he, he fills a couple of roles. I feel great to reunite with Coach D'Antoni. It, it was great back in Phoenix. We had, we had wonderful glory years. You know, I want to try to reestablish that here in New York. That's the goal to bring veteran leadership, playoff experience uh, to the New York Knicks and help develop these young players and also bring in some guys that can help us. The New York Post Mark Berman shared his thoughts on Stoudemire's arrival in New York. Amare is going to need pieces around him. He's an explosive player, one of the best finishers in the NBA, but he needs a, a very good point guard to do the pick and roll, to get him going. He had Steve Nash, the Knicks are looking at Luke Ridnauer. He's a five-time All-Star, but some people feel it's because of Nash. He's very uh, cocky. Uh, that's why uh, the, at the press conference today, D'Antoni and Walsh were talking about his mentality, perfect for New York, and that's why they wanted him so badly as opposed to Chris Bosh. And with Bosh going to Miami to play with Dwayne Wade, everyone is awaiting LeBron James' decision on where he will play. Uh, I would be shocked if he doesn't come here. That's not the first time I've been shocked in my life. And, uh, and we'll just see what happens. But. Uh, uh, the opportunity to be able to play on the biggest stage in the world, uh, Amari took that challenge. Well, obviously, you know, New York is, is is the number one city in the world. You know, so to to expand your brand will be ultimate. It's the ultimate goal, and to do it here in New York would be great. I think he knows it. If the Knicks don't get LeBron, and they are big long shots as we speak, they're going to go to Plan B. They have a deal in place for Anthony Randolph, a young athletic forward who can block shots and defend. They ha uh, in that deal, they would get Roni uh, Turioff, a shot blocker, big man. As my grandmother <laughs> lived to be 100 years old, and I would call her every night, and I would say, boy, hanging up, I love you, I'll speak tomorrow, she would say, if God is willing, the creek don't rise. <laughs> For the NYPost.com, this is David Garcia.